Welcome back um, to Absolute Cuts. Uh, we're still at Kai's uh, yeah. for another week. Um, we just stayed. We did just stay. Uh, um, we, we'll let you know, we secret here. Uh, we're just recording this straight after we yeah, did the yeah. last one. So I, we can't even tell you about... I, pre- I, I pretended at the very end of the last episode that I hadn't seen Slide. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I watched it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we can't tell you about the shenanigans we have undoubtedly got up to in Dublin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We've not, not been yet. Yeah, we're, um, yeah, we're not been yet. Because but, uh, I have to go to Ireland, so we can't fill them next week, so we had yeah. to double up this episode. Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll fill you in in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After this. Yeah, yeah. Over what we got up to in Ireland. Mm. But if that's if the fucking national news haven't reported it, because, <laughs> whoa, when you let a couple of shaggers like me and you loose in the, on the Emerald Isle, <laughs> the fucking... Do- Martial law. Yeah. <laughs> lock up your livestock. <laughs> I've never heard someone say lock up your livestock. It's <laughs> harrowing. <laughs> um, what I like about doing it at Kai's is um, you have to get uncomfortably close to each other. Like, with, <laughs> like it's, like it's my, the, like the magic of the magic of the, the wide angle. But uh, we are literally almost on each other's laps here. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which will mean nothing to you if you're just listening in the audio. Yeah, yeah, but um, but at the same time, it is it it's like uh, it's like we're both sitting in a jam bus together. Yes, yeah, yeah, it does. It does feel like that. Um, still, still a lovely day. <laughs> it actually fucking did change. <laughs> it did change. There was a I, I get uh, weirdly paranoid before. Um, I saw an old woman, and I didn't realize she had a dog. But the dog had obviously gone in to Kai's driveway. And I thought she was fucking coming in here. <laughs> so um, I can fucking hear your language. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can yeah. hear your language from here. <laughs> That'd be amazing if Kai got complaints from his neighbours. Oh, that's great. Though. Just is that that absolute cuts podcast? <laughs> Love it, but they could shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might have been uh, like I feel like people are like, God, you must have some reach. You know, like the last episode you're on about, we had listeners in the Bahamas and fucking yeah. thing. And but I reckon it, it's just them, it's just one in it, one each. Aye, each country we, has one each. We we lost our uh, we lost our United Arab Emirates. Oh, it was a one each thing. Yeah, I think it was. A bit... Well, they might they might come back. Well, we'll see. Well, let's um, let's keep an eye on them. Yeah, let's keep yeah. an eye on them. <laughs> so I always say about the United Arab Emirates. Let's just keep a wee eye on them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them get above their stations. <laughs> just watching you. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you want to get straight out of the film this week? Aye, because we've, we've not had a week to chat wait, about wait, wait, various wait. nonsense. There's so. very yeah, various fuck all. Uh, I haven't figured. I'll be going back to Ireland as well, so I will get loads of Eugene stories because I found out. Yes. That, I found out that Eugene, um, like this is only from a Discord uh, from the NFL Discord, right? And uh, I uh, I haven't been back to question what had happened, but uh, basically Eugene. Uh, was out on a jazz and blues festival at the weekend in Dunfanny and they couldn't find him uh, <laughs> they couldn't find where he went after and then they got back to the house Thomas said my brother said he got back to the house and basically Eugene was just covered in sand clutching his leg <laughs> and they're like what happened and he goes oh, fuck it he fell over a wall climbing onto the beach <laughs> yeah. maybe he's it. been training for the Olympics <laughs> for a long jump <laughs> and, and that man's fucking he, he's so he's so stitched up you know like he's like He's like your man Murphy in fucking Robocop. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's, yeah. He's so stitched up that anytime he's like, I'll batter that lad. And my mom's like, Eugene, if you throw a punch and not land, it would still kill you. <laughs> you just fall apart. <laughs> so stop talking like this. So that's why she's like, why are you climbing over walls and beaches yeah. at 4 a.m.? That's surprising me because you've previously told us that your dad doesn't like any music apart from Chris Christopherson. What was, he, what was he doing at a jazz and blues festival? Oh, no, it's uh, the, the local town, Dunfanny, where we live. They live it has a jazz and blues festival. Wait, wait, was it called Jazz and Blues? No, was Dun it? Fanny. Oh, d- right. <laughs> what is it? Is it? Dun, Dun Fanny. <laughs> Dun Fanny. Ah, uh, yeah. Some people call that. I mean, it, it's a part of Donegal where, like, all like South Protestant Belfast people come to buy holiday homes at uh, for the summer. Oh, so right. every summer, someone changes the D to a H, and the way into the time. <laughs> Genuinely, and it's just one one. That's just one um, sign before a um, somebody put an ER and dangerous bend ahead, <laughs> which is very funny. Yeah, <laughs> that's top tier. Um, Don Fanny's what I say when I leave your mum's house. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. 
<laughs> what have you been Don, up to? Don <laughs> Don Fanny. Don uh, This week's film is a uh, flight. Yes. But now you no, hadn't seen it. No, I hadn't seen this. Before. Um, did you like it? Yes. I'll tell you what. i tell you what. I love the start. And then got bored a bit. I guess and then and then I, I pull I, I, I left it because I was not paying attention for about ten minutes and go, no, I gotta pay attention. This seems like a good film you have to pay attention to. So I stopped it and then came back to thing going going like oh, it was a good start leveling out and then the end's excellent yeah. as well. So it's really good that overall that, yeah. I, I totally agree. I was losing I was losing it and then it came back. It does get boring as fuck. Yeah, yeah. In the There's middle. parts that you're just like, Oh get it. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, <laughs> but like uh, then it gets really good at the end. Aye. Some really good. Scenes. It's um. So if you've not seen it, it's it's really really well. I I think he was even nominated for an Oscar for this. I don't know if it was nominated for like best film or anything like that. Oh, fuck me. But um, um Big Denzel, film. who I this is the first Denzel Washington film we've done, isn't it? I have got a, I've got I've, a bad one for you. What? I'm not a I'm not, I'm not a massive Denzel. Fuck fan. off. Yeah, yeah. That's another one of the upsetting ones. Jesus. I don't know why. I like the equalizer. I like I like training day. I like I like he does he was good. He's always good, but I've never I I've never like oh Denzel's in this, can't wait to see it. I think there's two there's some two actors I can think of off the bat that I don't think I've ever seen them do anything badly. Oh Gene I'll Hackman you, is one t- of them. I'll tell you what, I, I can't think of anything he's done bad either. Because even it, if it's a shite film. Yeah, yeah, he does carry it. Big Denzel is still mm. Absolute class. Like that, that American Gangster was pretty shit. Oh, what? That's great as he well. Was, he was great. In it. I don't think it was that good. It was. <sighs> it's like a bad copy of forty good films. Yeah. I still, I still enjoyed it. But I even watched a film with, with Mark Wahlberg. It was called like Two Guns or something. Like that. I like that. That's quite good, isn't it? It's <laughs> quite good. I enjoyed Two Guns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So all of the twists yeah, in it yeah, as well. Yeah. I, didn't, I, mean, um, I didn't mind Two Guns. But yeah, so he's he's a he's a pilot who. Um, <laughs> he's, 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 he's an alcoholic we do, what I love about the start is right that you see this dude that has woken up next to a lady and um, he starts the morning by just tanning the rest of the beer he's got sitting on his bedside table Yeah. then he tans a huge big slug line of coke yeah yeah and he's talking about, oh yeah, with our flight, our because he keeps saying our flights at nine, our flights at nine. Yeah, yeah. Then the cunt emerges, and he's the pilot. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, <laughs> this mad bastard's flying the plane. It's great. Yeah, I, and I, then... I, I fully enjoyed it. The very first, that very first scene, even because she's running around fully naked, and I was like, Christ, this is not the film I thought. <laughs> like and immediately, I was like, Christ, I didn't expect. Yeah. For some reason, I'd be like, it, it sounded like an old woman prude. I didn't expect nudity <laughs> and. <laughs> A Robert Zemeckis film, well, which I didn't realize until the very end of the film. The yeah, film directed by him, and I went, "Oh, fuck. Uh, that's the uh, Robert Zemeckis this week's horny guy, we horny guy." It's the first time it's not been a character; it's been someone. That, the first time it's been the director of the film. Okay, because so. there's no, there's absolutely no need for her. for her to be not just topless, but I not m- like absolutely. You see, like it's full frontal. Yeah, within. 20 seconds of the film yeah, starting, the first, gets out of bed, Minja, Min, well, Minja Gogo. This just... is <laughs> Minja Gogo. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was fucking <laughs> Inspector Gadget came to my head. <laughs> go, 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 Gadget Minja. Go, go, Gadget Minja. <laughs> 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 fucking go, go, Gadget Minja just goes out and grabs a dick. Come here, you. <laughs> <It's> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking Christ! <laughs> um, bye. There's no, there's no need for it. I'm not, I'm not. Again, I'm not prudish uh, in the slightest. And sometimes I welcome full frontal nudity yes. in major Hollywood pictures. But, but uh, look, I, I'm it all adds saying nothing. I, sound, I sounded like I, I sounded like a prude bringing it up, but it caught me out of the. I was it like, does, yeah. Because I like, and, and for some reason, Denzel's never usually in that. He's done dark films, but I never. Yeah. yeah. Denzel's rarely absolutely hammering someone. No, that's true. Or or the bad guy, not like a badish kind of guy. Yeah, that's not true. He's been training day. Training day, yeah, you know. But like, it, it, you know, I don't know. There's just something like it. Like, and it, it's just, for me for some weird reason. It was just like, uh, like a scene after Tom Hanks reeled some prostitute. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> You're just it like, is. Got it. Aye. It's a Robert. Robert. Aye, because Zemeckis. 
this is probably, I think this, yeah, is, this is the, definitely the darkest film he's ever made. Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm kind of going. Well, actually, you know what? In fairness to me, I didn't know it was his until the end of the film. Because he's, because I, I love Robert Zemeckis. Like, yeah, he's very good. Back to the Future, three, the three films I fucking adore. Forrest Gump. Eh, that's all right. Yeah, cast we'll, away. We'll eh. Enjoy, enjoy. Um, but then around about this time, he, he made, he made like A Christmas Carol and a po- The Polar Express. Oh, so I think he's just gone, I've had enough of this. Sh- this animated shite it's it's tits and fanny right from the start here <laughs> like, he, he gets the he gets the script and it's about a plane and he's like i'm putting it in anyway <laughs> <laughs> i'm putting it in anyway because like i full on so the full on mm. frontal frontal nudity caught me off yeah. aware so he is the horny guy because you're right it added literally nothing no. he could have literally just woke up and did both those things without her well, no, because even can, if you she need was to, still in the bed, you, aye, but you anything need, you need to establish that the two of them are in a relationship for the rest of the yes. yes. He's, he's, he's the pilot, but he's basically banging one of the stewardesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and then when they get in the plane, there's turbulence at the start. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which he he does that fucking class move where he's he finds a wee sliver of black that if he can get in it, it's like an air pocket, <laughs> and that'll level them out again. Yeah, and then he. It's it's because he's so fucking charming. Even when he goes out and to explain it to the pi- to the passengers about the turbulence, he's he's pulling gags. <laughs> ah, yeah, he's yeah, talking yeah. about like the raptors destroying the. It's just like he's everyone fucking loves him. They're like we're in safe hands. Uh, again, they clap. We were talking about yeah, this the final yeah. destination. They cl- when once they get out of the turbulence and everything goes quiet again, they all clap. I I've gotten out of turbulence where people clapped. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we kept. Uh, like it was going to Derry. Uh, it was just a nightmare. You got a turbulence and they came out. It was one of those things we had London the runway Derry. three times and had to go up. London Derry. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> See how um, podcasts have that, uh, like that, that the thing that uh, the roads thing, yeah, yeah, where you can have like eight different preset noises. Oh, you only just had it. I want to have one. Well, I want to have one for a wee horny guy. Yeah. Oh, we, need to, we need to start getting on this. So we'll get that. But then anytime you call it dairy, you're going to I'm just going to get someone. To, I'm just going to press a button. And it goes on the dairy. Thank God. <laughs> thank God I do the videos because it would have been funnier if you just had like a disclaimer every time I said it in brackets. <laughs> he means London dairy. Be like, fucking take that down. I got off the fucking internet. I'll be claiming I'll be the guy like the hawk people that keep annoying me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. No, uh, it it starts off with that. It was full on. Uh, he gets on the plane. He's, he's quite good at acting. Buzzed is the way Aye. I'd say. You know, Aye. like he was quite active. You know, because the 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 fucking wanker, the co-pilot, co-pilot. who's also a, a, like he's a prick. Because right? right. he turns out he's there's a really creepy as fuck scene because he he gets paralyzed in the crash. Yeah, yeah. So he, he's he's like my legs because because they keep him in a coma. Yeah, yeah. For Dead yeah, yeah. wasn't it escapes. They keep him in a coma because he's annoying. Yeah, yeah. Um, he escapes fairly unscathed. Dead of Washington. He's got a couple of cuts to his eye, and he's yeah, got some yeah. bruising on his wrists, the ligaments in his knee. But that's like, but that's it. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this guy loses his legs. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. But then Denzel Washington goes in to see him, and he keeps saying, "Oh God, God chose that flight." And then his creepy wife beside him goes, "Our Lord Savior Jesus Christ." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fucking. That was weird as fuck. Yeah. yeah. They made him. They made him pray. Didn't they? Yeah, they made him pray. Yeah. Anybody that's too religious, it's Aye. always like. But he can. He can tell he's pissed. Ah, yeah, right yeah. from the word go. Yeah, yeah, he he caught it like ah, he's deeply uncomfortable. Yeah. He was also good at acting uncomfortable, uh, and he, he doesn't even stop. That's what I love about it. He doesn't even he doesn't even wake up pissed and go because like there's that thing right where it doesn't really happen that much. Well, I suppose it does, not in the world we work in, but yeah, you hear about it every year. They'll do a a campaign where there's cops out. Uh, d- during the mornings uh, in December because loads of offices have their Christmas nights out. Yeah. And folk will get yeah. pissed the night before. Not wake up, think they're just hungover, but not realising they're still well over the limit. Yes, And then yes, some yes. fucking arsehole will pull them over <laughs> and go, eh, you're actually over the limit. And you go, I've not drunk this morning. You were drinking last night. Well, of course I was drinking last night. It was last night. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Arsehole, right? <laughs> um, but so Denzel Washington doesn't even do that. He doesn't go, Christ, I might still be pissed the night before. He keeps drinking. 
He like tanned he three wee bottles of vodka. Like he that's his leveler. He was looking for a little black spot in the clouds to level out the plane yeah. for the turbulence. But then he needed and his he does leveler. it while he's talking to the passengers. Yeah. So yeah. it's not like it's clearly not the first time he's done it because he's he's given this full fucking hitting out the gags, charming everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this other hand's unscrewing three bottles at a time and pouring in it an orange juice. And you're like, yes. He, this he, man's a proper he, pro. I, he, he's also charming that all of the other, not not like the, the, the air hostesses mm. and all that type of shit. So what happens again that, oh, you don't know, he just all of a sudden goes into a nosedive. Well, they did, they, 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 they find out at the end of the film that there's, there's, a, there's like a screw. Yeah, that was the, the the thread on it was buggered and what it did was it jammed and it made one of the whatever the thing at the back the flap at the back yeah yeah of the the wing or the tail and that forces him into this massive dive but then he pulls some proper maverick shit yeah 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 where he he, put, he flies a jet upside down like fucking jumbo <laughs> jumbo jet upside down and there was an air hostess that wasn't yeah, it? yeah, she wasn't strapped. She, she wasn't strapped. <laughs> she just fucking killed her. She like. gets rattled about the she place. Was, uh, she was ragdolled oh, about the place. I've never seen any of them take as many hit. That was I, quite. F- I don't know why it's so funny. Like it was, oh, so, it was just brutal. Is it no? It, this, no, it's not. It's, 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 it's his girlfriend. It's the girl. Yeah, yeah. The girl he's with at the start that goes to save the kid. Yes. She dies a proper hero's death. Yes, yeah, she puts the kids. Up, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the other one. Then. Yeah, it. but the other one is just wandering the wandering the galley, telling people to put their fucking seatbelts on, and then so she the, give a good put on your seatbelt or this will happen. Yeah, there's a really horrible bit actually. It's proper squeamish where the, the plane's upside down, but her foot's got caught in one of the luggage rack doors. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And she's basically swinging, just getting battered against the top of seats like that. It's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was so... I'm sorry, but I was screaming laughing at that part. I was like, it's so funny. Like, everything that possibly could go wrong. It's like, who let loose golf clubs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who the hell brings their own, their own bowling ball on a flight? <laughs> It's flying around, smashing people. A the... javelin? What the fuck? <laughs> How did you get this? Surely this should have been. All of this should have been in the hold. I was that. That was fucking. Um, but the, I, I thought because the, the way they do the cl- the crash is well cool. I think it's a class scene. It was. It was absolutely brilliant. They they uh, they upset it, and then when they're leveling off, yeah, and then it looked like he was aiming for a church. The way, <laughs> but the way they actually do it, the way he explains it, you go, that's really fucking cool, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because see, so he's like tipping it and rolling it like that, and then at the exact precise moment, he gets the head stewardess to fucking hit the thrusters, so it gives them enough power. That they can then level it again. Yeah, that yeah, well yeah. cool. It was, yeah. It was really even because they showed the crash sometimes as well, like as if it was a, a phone footage. Yeah. And usually phone footage is faked in a film is shite. Yeah, yeah. It always looks stupid, but this one looked great. Yeah, and the crash is well cool. Yeah, it was really good. And when they when that when you show when they shows you, there's there's two folk coming out that are also characters in the film are coming out of the like the condos. And the, the plane flies by them oh, upside yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, fucking, that's well. But yeah, it does look like he aims for a church. Oh, that Takes great. a spire right off. Yeah, and they both look each other. Yeah. And then there's all the, the, like, the fucking Ooh. polyphonic spree are kind of hanging around <laughs> the bottom. Like, just the hunters in, hunters but, in white robes. But, but what the. Uh, yeah, and they were. Do you know what the worst thing was? They were. <laughs> it's quite funny if you imagine they're, from their point of view, so they're all praying the next thing. <laughs> They're all like wandering their little fucking robes, and then they look up, yeah. and the jumbo jets flying at them. If only you would give us a sign. Oh, <laughs> they're all scattered yeah. every time she the But you there's like two or three of them falling over, going fuck. <laughs> what are we praying? And they hit by a jumbo jet, <laughs> and they come back every night, don't they? they every yeah. day to like uh, pray. Yeah. To the fucking. Like, but I so he he pulls off a a move that. They later explain they put 10 of the best pilots in the country in simulators and not one of them could land the plane. Yeah, yeah. Everyone died. They crashed it. So he is like fucking... And then he's so he's, he, he's like that, an, a hero, like that Sully guy who landed on the, the Hudson yes, River. Yes, yes, yes. And then the, toxico- the toxicology report comes back 
So yeah, basically, he proved fucking hammered. If they, imagine if they made them ten pounds and do a line of coke, do a couple of things, <laughs> yeah, and they I all mean, land. <laughs> like we're gonna have to really re- th- rethink our training program. <laughs> <laughs> They fucking get it. That's what they come out of it. You need to be hammered if you want to be driving our plane. Um, so yeah, then it then it starts getting boring because yeah, because it's 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 quite high octane. Yeah, and then it starts getting into the story, and I they have to do it. Yeah, there's no other way. Like, all right, lawyers and union reps turn up, and I'm right, and then like about which forty five minutes of our lawyers and union reps, I'm like, right, this is. I don't hugely mind the lawyer because is it don't oh, she no, no, is it don't she though you don't like. No, no, I like. I thought it was. Is it, I thought, I was. I always thought you had a beef against Don Cheadle. <sighs> I, don't, I don't actually like it. I don't like. Oh no, you know who you're thinking of the other person in the wings in Marvel. I'm thinking. Oh, so it is. That's why you've Anthony uh, Mackie. You, it that's like who you hate. Sounds like you're being racist. Yes, it really, does. It's, no, it's, it's a Marvel. It's thing. a Marvel. It's generally a Marvel. Anthony thing. Mackie. It's, yeah, I, that's I who you don't fucking like. Fucking yeah. hate Anthony Mackie for a burning passion for. Why? Just like he's fucking, I can't think of anything he's like been he's in that would annoy you that much. He's ruined so much. He's now Captain America. Yeah. Ruined it. Yeah. He was in the second season of Altered Carbon. I've ruined it. That. It was Joel Kinnaman's great show. And then he right. fucking ruined it. He's ruining shit. Black Mirror. Uh, oh, God, he's in Black Mirror, yeah, isn't he? Is, yeah. Uh, he's, he's in the uh, pumping over the yeah. video games. Don't know. Just uh, just an odd person I don't like. I have no real reason for it. It's like Drew Barrymore. <laughs> ah. It's like Anthony and Mackie, Drew Barrymore. They're like, explain it. I go, no reason. They're pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> that is <laughs> weird. Just their faces. Drew Barrymore also weird because Drew Barrymore's not been in anything a note since yeah, Scream, it was really. A, it was a kid thing. My one when I was a kid, though, was always Macaulay Culkin. Really? I wanted to rip his fucking head off. Richie Rich drove me fucking insane. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Because I, I was a poor Irish boy. But you must I like Home Alone. I'm a rat bastard. Didn't when I was a kid. Do now. You didn't like Home Alone when you were a kid? I hated him. Fucking hell. I had a burning. My favourite thing was blowing my muck to my girl when he died with all the beast <laughs> things. <laughs> he needs his glasses. <laughs> I right, give him his fucking glasses <laughs> so he can see me coming. <laughs> I hated him. I do now. I don't know. I just got over it. Yeah. Um, Have you seen the cool thing? Just a side note. No. There's a cool thing where. I thought it was a name of a film. Have you seen no, the there's... cool thing? So there's a there's a picture of Macaulay Culkin wearing a Ryan Gosling t-shirt, right? And it's okay. like it was like a press photo or something. And then there's another photo of Ryan Gosling with a picture on his t-shirt of Macaulay Culkin wearing that Ryan Gosling t-shirt. And then there's another one. Where it's Macaulay Culkin wearing a t-shirt of Ryan Gosling wearing the t-shirt of Macaulay Culkin wearing. That's great. Big and it, it, it goes. It's got like five different levels. Gosling, where it, if you keep going down and down and down, it sees it. Gosling's so funny. Ah, he's got a fucking class. That guy's Gosling. hilarious. He's unbelievable in Barbie. Ah, I've seen nice still guys. Seen, still not seen so Barbie. funny. You can't. You have to wait. I know. I still you have to wait hair grows out. Um, but I, I, it, it does get boring, but it's still decent. Uh. John Goodman's character starts shite and then gets really good. Ah, see, I think he still both the scenes he's in. I think he I, properly I, steals. He, he annoyed, he annoyed me at the start a little bit. I was like, it's a stupid character. It reminded me of Woody Allen's character in two thousand and twelve. Yeah, you know, a, a bit manic and stupid. But yeah. then I, he does. He's then at the end like the the funny. He is class in it. He's just. Like I a, like John Goodman. Yeah, I love John Goodman. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. A, he's just he's just a drug dealer. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. like an incredibly drug dealer to the stars. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Because he bring because at the start when Denzel Washington is still in hospital. Yeah, yeah. He brings him <laughs> porn, doesn't he? He brings him porn. Yeah, he does bring him porn. <laughs> then he, he brings him a liter of vodka, and then at this point, Denzel Washington, you think he's gonna not? That's him stop drinking now. Yeah, he's like, yeah. And he's yeah. like, nah, take the, take that away, take that away. Just bring me. And then they were he needs need, he needs decent painkillers because John Goodman goes to the. The medical no- doctor's notices like, is like, let's, let's see what kind of shit they're giving you. Yeah, and then he really starts right. rhyming off, who the fuck's the diamorphine? Where's the, like... Uh, what is this weak shit? We did the good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I love the fact that... Well. Oh, do you know what a fucking main thing that start pissed me off at the start? You know, the one thing. His fucking name's stupid. Oh, uh, yeah. Whip. That's what that's what, that's what what put me off. Right? Whoop Whittaker. Yeah. That's a fucking... That's a comedy name if you're making a comedy guy. Yeah. Like Barry Bollard. Yeah. <laughs> Barry <laughs> Bollard. <laughs> you, don't, you don't fucking... It's just that... Like, Whoop Whittaker. <laughs> Barry Bollard. Whip Whittaker. Because it's, it's short for William. Which I 
can't. What? No, because what I is? because I remember because I've seen this film quite a few times, and it was when at the start I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot his name's Whip. I was like, I wonder what the fuck that's short for. And then it, later on, he reveals to the the junkie he starts going out with, which is a proper boring part. Yeah, I didn't mind the totally I didn't, I this, didn't mind right. the court case stuff. I didn't mind the lawyer stuff. But that, that it was kind of what I meant, but I know what, I know what you're saying when you oh, said Dutch Dell. I was like, no, no, I don't really mean that. I kind of mean just the build up to Aye. the actual court case, which and you was are just because right, you need to see him turning to drink again. You have to, yeah. It, it's all fully necessary, yeah. or the show would it would actually be shite if they didn't do it because it, because it sets up the end. Like you couldn't just like skip onto it and then go, ah, he's drunk, and then here's the court yeah. case. You'd be like, right, that was pretty weak. Um, it makes it a better film. But, but it was for a while going. But yeah, he, he reveals his name as William. And I can't understand how you'd get whip. Willie Whittaker? From William. <laughs> aye, Willie Whittaker. That's a much cooler name. Uh, Willie Whittaker? Yeah. Uh, whip Whittaker, aye. <laughs> Willie Whittaker, is that a guy with a chocolate factory? <laughs> no, it's a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> is it whip with a WIP? It's not work in progress, Whittaker. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck it. Whip Whittaker was a stupid name. That that sent me off the, the deep end straight yeah. off the at the start i'll get to the, the end of the thing uh at the time i did watch it on 9 11 that's what it is oh so you did yeah yeah because yeah, you, yeah. you told me to find and watch it it was it was quite funny it was like watching downfall at a quarter to eight <laughs> <laughs> trying to work out the clock <laughs> doesn't work if you don't have a <laughs> needs to be an analog <laughs> um so yeah the Right, that so that does when it gets boring when he starts, when he starts going out because so he, he, while he's in hospital, he goes out for a smoke at one point and then bumps into, well he bumps into the the oh, the girl. I, could, I couldn't figure out that actor. The girl, the, the guy, the, you basically turn up, <laughs> the cancer ridden guy who fucking creeps up the stairs. He is quite like <laughs> he, he would make like, he would do a good is, job acting as me. That is the mo- that's another thing we're gonna get as a wee button thing. People that Colin looks like in the film. <laughs> He's the best so far. Like even 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 films we've done with aliens and shit and all. Okay, right. He's been the most Cullen so far. He, I do agree. I will. I won't even argue with him. He was. He just turns up. What 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 was this thing? He wasn't a conspiracy theorist. He was just annoying. He was creepy with her, was he? Aye. No, he wasn't. Cre- yeah, he was creepy. He's just, he just just a guy because she the... explains that he's got chemo brain. Like apparently, if you do chemotherapy, it fucks you up. Aye. Some mum did it. Aye. But she's a proper junkie. Like she's yeah, Because yeah. that's a. There's a bit where she she proper ODs because she goes to oh that's right that's it's good. bizarre where she goes to pick up heroin but she goes to a porn set yeah so yeah a dealer is obviously someone she knows well but he's also a porn director yeah 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 he's like oh god fuck yeah. you you'd be perfect for this yeah he starts naming the characters <laughs> he's me he's me you can be it's Belinda called, it's, it's called the Beast with Two Backs. <laughs> And then when he gives her the heroin, he goes, right, now this stuff, this is the Taliban, right, don't shoot it. Like, it's called whatever, the Taliban. Whatever the fuck you do, do not shoot this. And then within five like, minutes... Of course you're going to shoot the Taliban. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we all do with the Taliban. <laughs> she does OD, yeah. She, 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 you know what the funny part is? She also finds him drunk one night. And she looks at him like, oh, I'm sorry. Aye, I know. Like, you fucking, you're shutting, you, she was shooting up between her flaps about 10 minutes ago. She does, aye, she does get very morally righteous. After, uh, uh, once uh, she starts going to AA, she's I was very... Like, I was like, I'm fine with this. Uh, but I don't, I'm not fine with one of them all of a sudden taking some sort of moral high aye. stance. Where I was like, I know she's does. trying to help him, but... He like, does, also... he gets really fucked up. <laughs> On a couple of occasions, he gets mortal Great. drunk. Like, utterly <laughs> gutted. Mort- mortally. Like... <laughs> Stocious is oh, the word we would use. Stocious, yeah, Stocious is that, yeah. yeah Tell yeah. you who told me, he taught me a new one yesterday, uh, Michelle McManus. Uh, Fuck. Yeah, Michelle yeah. McManus was on our radio show last night when we were recording it, and she came up, she said uh, one night she was absolutely tatty bangled. Tatty bangled. <laughs> tatty bangled is great. It's absolute class. Because you, you could actually fucking, like, you know, use most stupid sounding words and just put. Oh, does. oh yeah, you could. Gazeboed. Aye, aye gaze- gazeboed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got Muller Crunch Corners. It doesn't matter. You, you can kind of sell it sometimes. <laughs> That's what you're trying to send me Cockney rounds. We can just add uh, 
you know, like ways of yes, being, that's ours. Aye, let's do that. We'll do that. On, we'll do that in socials. Aye, try and come up with the best one. I got absolutely um, ring lighted. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Ring lighted up. <laughs> Fucking Judy Dench last night. Judy Dench, yeah, 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 yeah. Actors is a good one. Yeah, as I Philip yeah. Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, so, but I, I also didn't like the fact that he starts going out with her. That just didn't sit. Nah, no, it didn't sit with you. I don't think. I don't think it was a weird couple. It's I don't a think couple. they'd have been attracted to each other, even though they've got the commonality of both being addicts. I just don't think they'd. She's very. Uh... Uh, she's an arsehole. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, judgy arsehole. Yeah. She's quite a boring character. Doesn't I really it, add yeah, fuck on anything. I couldn't remember. I know she's in loads of stuff. She's an English actress, but I can't remember. She's good yeah. actor. Remember. Then she just disappears. But she, she, they don't really... They don't have anything at the end. No. She just fucks off and leaves a note. And I'm like, Aye. well, all of this was pointless. Like, her whole thing was pointless. Yeah. There was nothing. You learned nothing from it. He was. She was just there to... Chat to him. It was just to, just to, just to have the idea of a love interest. Puck fucking pointless, eh? So basically, but, get rid of the shitey aye. Bryce Dallas Howard or whatever you call her. She does look like Bryce Dallas. Mm. There's a couple of actresses that look. Jessica Chastain looks another like one. Bryce Dallas Howard as well. One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I'm I'm so impressed with the amount he can drink. Like when he yeah. goes to the hotel bar that was after the, he's that been. That was the great one. Because Don Cheadle's. I mean, John Cheadle's a prick. Because everyone like. Kind of, when I was reading about this, folk were going, ah, there's no likeable characters in it. I quite like Denzel Washington in it. I know, oh, I'm, I know yeah, I'm a I big figure, fan. I he f- is a piece of shit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he does. It. He, he turns around then. It does. Everything. I like it. But even Cheeto's, I mean, Cheeto's arguably worse. Because right from the start, he goes, look, I know you were high as fucking coke. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know you were out your mind. Because he says something like, you, 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 you had a, a, a 0.27 on your toxicology report. The drink driving absolute limits, 0. 0.04 yeah, yeah, in America. Yeah. So he was fucking wired. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. going, but don't worry, I'll, I'll quash all that. Don't awesome, you? Awesome. See, he's, he's, a, lawyer, he's an absolute piece of to, shit. He tries, he tries to it. pass it off as like, what you did here was magic. What yeah. you did here was unbelievable, but you're really just like. Uh, yeah. But again. I don't I'm, lose court cases. He's done uh, one of yeah. those lines. But again, I'm not. I'm, I'm in two minds over whether. He should have been just even if they found out when they found out he was pissed, whether they should have just let him off with it. <laughs> Aye. Yeah, no, no, I'm I'm for this. I mean if you if you've pulled off if people are going like a miracle thing yeah. has happened, then you go, Okay, well, you know, you're not allowed to fly again. Because yeah. But also jail for the rest of your life for sa- basically for saving I know that six people died, so I know that you you have to do all this yeah. shit. I get it. But then, that. see, if no one had died, would there have been any investigation into it at all? Oh, yeah. Because the whole thing with the court case is the fact that he'll face manslaughter, but the only reason they bring it up is because the airline want to blame the manufacturers, and the manufacturers want to blame the airline. So nobody wants the cost of this. Yeah, yeah. So I suppose, but then if nobody had died, there would be no compensation for anyone. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, bit of a mixed bag. Um... Is that red light flashing? Aye. Is that me? No, I do. Maybe we'll, we'll go ahead then until <laughs> the fucking happens. It's done it before. Oh, uh, has it? All right, well, the, it's probably near We should really this. read the manuals for these cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, we, will, we will when we get the, all the new stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's, which is coming. That's why we're yeah. in fucking Kai's house, yeah. so we're going to have a whole new thing. Uh, the, what was it, I going to say there? Do you know how it would be realistic, though? You know when he did a line of coke at the start? If it was a realistic one, he would just be doing a line of coke and then going to the airport and then just charging people for their bags. <laughs> That's over. <laughs> you gotta get rid of that fucking fur coat or your grand's ashes. The uh, <laughs> the scene at the end when he's in the hotel. So he's, they they get him to a hotel. They manage to keep him sober for eight days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he goes to the hotel room and he goes to the he's 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 drawn to the mini bar and it's all just soft drinks. Yeah, and yeah. They go yeah. all right, cool. Right, they've they've they've, they've sought ahead and then he. Hear- <laughs> hey, how am I going to cut that? I'm going to have that's to. Exactly that's just the most good. awkward edit point possible. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to keep it in. The fucking we were chatting about the thing. I'm going to keep it in. You'll see the whole. That that the thing's flashing really quick there, and then it's going to be a cut, and you you're just going to be like, God, 
I'll actually <laughs> flood him out <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> uh, aye, what I was saying before the, the memory card uh, cut out there. Um, other podcasts must have had this at the start. Like, yeah, obviously, yeah. Folk that fu- fuck it up until we get it. Yeah, yeah, until we'll we get it snapped. Until we get an absolute, until we get a team behind us. Yeah, yeah. Until we get real bricks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to iron our bricks sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was talking about when he's in the, in the scene at the end and that someone's left the door open to the room, adjacent yeah, yeah. room, and they've got a fully stocked it was, it, mini bar. When I, when, like, this is what I found stupid as fuck. That was the most stocked mini bar. There was like five grand of beers in it. Mm, and mm. Shit. I was like, what kind of fucking mini bar is it's this? a huge amount. And uh, there's a cr- I, th- I think it's cool. When he takes a wee bottle of vodka out and he sniffs it and he opens it up and he puts the lid back on and just sticks it down. And then there's like a five second delay, and he just sees hands swipe back in, <laughs> yeah, and you yeah, go, yeah, yeah. "Yes, it's yeah. on, it's on!" Absolutely trashes the place. He's got cut. He, he, he pulls like you wonder how, like how pissed he actually gets because he lo- he he wrenches the mini bar from out of the wall. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The mini yeah, bar's yeah. Li- like lying on the floor with a TV and door shit. broken off. Exactly, he goes to fucking town on this hotel room and tans everything in the mini bar. And, and and also uh, yeah and and they find him like passed out isn't it and yeah blood all over like yeah he smacked his head in the toilet Jesus Christ and uh, and then they're like oh fuck because the guy that his pals initially like that right I mean we've got like forty five minutes to clean him up and Don Cheadle's like what the fuck look at the guy yeah yeah like, yeah just get some coffee into him and then he's like call John Goodman call John Goodman and then Goodman comes in. And basically gives him a smoke with coke in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's like I love the fact as well, by the way. You know, he comes in. That 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 was my favorite scene when he's just like, right, you're gonna have to coke your way up here now yeah. to get yourself right back up. Uh and he, he, he they basically tan a gram, the two of them. And then he goes, This is another one for later. You know, he'll need that too. Yeah. And then he goes, who's who's paying? That's five hundred quid. Five hundred quid, I know, I know, I know. How good is this stuff? Like <laughs> 500 quid. I know. <laughs> um, it was great acting when he starts coming back around. He kept going, oh, I'm back, baby. Yeah. And I was like, that's so funny. Because I, I I think we both have had... I've, uh, well, at, I've had that exact... At like, music <laughs> festivals, I have had that a few times where I've woken up genuinely feeling like I've been killed. Like I've been in, I've gone 12 rounds with Tyson the night before. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going, I cannot function this day. And then you go, you go to the toilet. <laughs> Back the game. Here we go. Like it's amazing. <laughs> we can't. We can't condone it. No, no. We can't condone it. <laughs> but, but that scene was like, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love it. What did he say? Yeah, it, it was fucking. It was my favorite line. I wrote it down here because I didn't want to forget. Nothing keeps a big dog down. <laughs> Nothing keeps a big dog down. Uh, Got into his fucking hearing. Aye, I, I the hearing, but because it is quite, it's quite sad at the end because they do acknowledge, and it looks like he's going to get away with it. No bother, because yeah, that's yeah, yeah, when yeah. she mentions the fact that the prosecutor mentions the fact that they have had these ten best pilots and they couldn't do what he did. Yeah, yeah. She produces evidence about the the the, the, screw. the, the screw, and then. And then, and then, but then it's like a proper Columbo moment where she goes, eh, "Just one more thing." Yeah, yeah, yeah she does. Yeah. We found uh, two uh, vodka bottles, which is cool. Earlier on, Don Cheadle says uh, they found uh, two vodka bottles, um, so uh, we're going to try and pass it off that it was just the stewardess you were banging. Just say she was hers. And Denzel Washington goes, "Well, I've got to tell you, I'm amazed they found two because I drank three. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but then she the, they're basically trying to try to shift the blame on her and that's yeah. when his conscience finally yeah, yeah. kicks in and goes I cannot do this to this woman's legacy like yeah, yeah, I cannot yeah. have her going out being this drunk bastard that I, I, I would have loved the film if he just went yeah it was that she was I, torched I, I, it was her lean into it she was torched your honour <laughs> <laughs> She got she got that fucked up. Uh, but I, I do love the way it's my favourite bit of the film when um he uh she keeps saying, Do you think uh I think her name's Trina, do you think Trina 
was the one. In your opinion, was it Trina who drank those yeah. two vodka bottles? And then he keeps going, could you repeat the question? My what? My, your opinion? Is it your opinion? And then he goes, no. And, uh, and then everyone goes, what, what, what? And he goes, because uh, yeah, I, I drank, I drank the vodka. I drank the vodka. And he goes, I was drunk. I was drunk the morning. And he goes, I'm drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> Flipped it in. It yeah. was you. <laughs> Some random person on the committee. <laughs> oh, he is drunk now. But um, <laughs> that reminds me. I think there's a. I think it's The Simpsons, and because it is a cool line because he says it so well. With like tears in his eyes, he goes, "I'm drunk right now. I'm an alcoholic." But there's a scene in The Simpsons where I think it's like, a uh, Mr. Burns, uh, is asking the employees at the power plant, "Has anyone been drinking at work?" And everyone goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And one wee guy in the back just goes, I'm drunk right now. <laughs> like, Excellent. It's exactly the same line. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh. And then it comes, it comes to him and he's in a penitentiary. Yeah. <laughs> a jail for normal people. Uh, and he's like, uh, he's chatting to all the, he's doing The inmates. Those. He's chatting to all the inmates. And he's like, I'm finally free. But I think it was a really good wrap up with the kid. Yeah, the kid with the thing was a good scene, right? Like, because it could have been proper corny. Yeah, no, it's I, good didn't, to, it's, I didn't think it was corny. I think it's good it the right. way he did it. But previously, Cheeto's talking about he's saying like life imprisonment. He'll get he's like there's four counts. <laughs> yeah. It'll be four counts of manslaughter. Yeah, yeah. Because for some reason it doesn't count. The two, yeah, yeah, yeah. The two, they don't, they don't the count. two crew don't count. They at all. knew what they were getting into. <laughs> That's what he said. Talking as if they're a fucking Navy SEAL. <laughs> yeah, they knew they they knew they did a dangerous job. No, they didn't. Isn't that fucking stewardess on a flight? Pouring Pepsi into a plastic cup. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, then he because he, he's been talking about oh, before counts of manslaughter, so yeah, before yeah. lifetime terms. And then when he's talking to the other inmates, he's going, "I mean, I'm in here. I've been here a year with you guys, and I'll probably be in here for another four or five. And he goes, "It's a hell of a." So, <laughs> a hell of a, a hell of a discount he got in his sentence. Like, how, how much good behaviour has he got on him here? He like, just tells the same story to all the inmates. That's what keeps <laughs> chucking about. So, I'm free now. Even though I'm in here, I'm free now. <coughs> but I, uh, I, I wish her name was Nene. What? Because would be whipping Nene. <laughs> what? <laughs> God. Just keep that uh, with you. <laughs> um, what I was gonna, what I was gonna quickly ask you before we end up is, obviously, when he's pissed, hmm. that's the best thing he's done. What's the best thing you've ever done when you've been pissed? Like not, 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 not on that level of achievement, but what's a thing you've done where you've gone, I was really pissed, and the only reason I could have done that is if I was, if because I was pissed. Oh God. Well, let me think about this. The what only reason, because I was thinking about the question last night, and I remember the thing. Is so childish that, but there was no way I'd ever have done it if I wasn't pissed. Okay. And my pals, it's like a proper me and my pals on our first lads' holiday, remembering it, right? Okay. For some, for some fucking reason, before we went on holiday, our first uh, me and my pals' holiday when we were about seventeen. For some reason, we'd watched The Fly with Jeff Goldblum on the yeah. day before. <laughs> so we kept going on about <laughs> Brundlefly, right? And I kept going, Brundlefly! <laughs> fucking stupid shit. You'll do it to make your pals laugh. Like, so on the plane, like, Brundlefly, coming out of the, like, the toilet, <laughs> Brundlefly. <laughs> and there was one night we were fucking wrecked and we came out of a club in Greece, in Malia. And there was <laughs> a guy. A t- he wasn't a taxi driver, he was just a guy either driving to his work or driving home or something. But he was driving with both windows down. So it's only him in the car, and he's driving along like that, right? And I come out and go into his window and go, Brindle fly! But then decided to crawl all the way through his car, right? So I crawl over his lap, <laughs> over the passenger you seat, wouldn't have the confidence. and then out the passenger window. And my pal's like that, hey! <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> that you would never have the confidence but to it was one of those ones it. like he's a huge big greek guy and if it wasn't that out of the blue <laughs> he'd have leathered me and quite rightly so yeah, the car. but the fact he's just right. sitting there going is this happening is there a pissed guy yelling brundlefly <laughs> crawling <laughs> through my car i hope it's driven him mental over the years <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's yeah, curling yeah. a padded room <laughs> brundlefly <laughs> 
want no fly. What does it mean? <laughs> and then you, you meet him. He's 80 about to die. <laughs> oh, we just watched the film the day before. He's just devastated. <laughs> My life meant nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of his life expecting Brundlefly to turn up again. <laughs> That'd be great if you uh, you could pay so many things if he's in an old woman's home, or, old woman's home, <laughs> an old person's home, and then just be like, uh, pay one of the people to just it <laughs> in his ear. They give him the pills. Every, every they night, give him yeah. the pills. Yeah. They whisper. <laughs> You'd write the man to me. <laughs> like, uh, what does it mean? Uh, can you think of one? Uh, well, I think I think of, out of pure, I don't think I would have been able to basically hospitalise Waugh with, with alcohol during uh. Kai Stag. Oh where, yeah, where the games of where the where the games of beer pong. Oh yeah, an old story where I just kept like, like it, it, because it was pure confidence. Aye, like I, if I was sober trying to do it, and I've tried it before, and I've done it since with Aye. beer pong. Like, but I I just had every single one going because all they were doing was doing like. Anytime we free something, you'd be doing like a cool line. Yeah, and yeah. Then nailing it. <laughs> yes. You know, did you see me doing it in the bowling? Yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm not hammered, I, I do that. I play like, I'm like, I will kill myself yeah. right now unless I have to be a certain level of hammered and but then I will pull it out. That's the thing. I've, I'm better at pool when I'm hammered. See, this is the. Your electro inhibitions go. You're better, yeah. you're better at potting balls. Yeah, better at driving. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know what's my toxic trait? I reckon I could land that plane. <laughs> I like I have no, I have now no. I know, now we know how to do it. Oh, well, that's chance. it. I just I just barrel roll the fucking plane. That's what we'll do. That's like that guy. That's another one. one. It. Yeah, that's another one. I'm going to put in the bank for Patreon special when we get a Patreon together. Yeah, we'll both go to a simulator. Oh, and go put us in put us in a situation where we're gonna crash a plane. And there see. is a there's a crash simulator in Edinburgh. Is there? Yeah, yeah. Right, we've got to do it, man. Yeah, it's one of those sensory ones. You know, like they do the actual simulator what an actual plane crash would be like. Oh yes, is that? I was gonna ask you as well. In Dublin, is that thing? Is that sports place still there? Remember we went once and oh, played all the sports. Yeah, it should be. We should do. That. I was trying to find out. That was fucking class. I can't remember where that is, but I'll, uh, yeah, the I'll only find the one you hammered me at was the shooting. Like just anything with a rifle, you fucking like. <laughs> it's like when we did Slosses Die too. I had like twenty-seven out of thirty <laughs> yeah. pigeons. They're like, oh, it's in the blood. <laughs> it's in the blood, isn't it? Um, but I class film. Yeah, good film. Born in the middle, but I feel like brilliant. at this stage now you've you've supplied the good films. Like ah, I, 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 I've I've supplied the core in Final Destination. You yeah. supplied Lockstock and the Sting, the Sting <laughs> and Kelly's <Flight>. Hero, <laughs> and Flight. <laughs> And it fucking, I've I've gotten what the what all the shit. I had one or two good ones. I yeah. do have I have two DVDs with me, right? And they're over there. So what I'm going to do is instead of choosing, don't I pass you, the bag? You or do, just just dip your finger in when you feel it and go. It'd be great if I had just a big bag of cum or something there, and then just choose whatever right, one. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh no! Oh yes, yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. Right, right okay, really Battle good. Royale, excellent. Well, right. I found Battle Royale in a in a charity shop, and I was like, I can't not pick it. Oh, superb! Our first foreign language film. Yeah, we're first foreign language film, uh, an absolute classic. Yeah, and it'll probably be the best of my films I've. That's absolute showed. class. So we're going for Battle Royale next. Excellent, excellent. Um, I uh, keep getting in touch. Review helps us with the algorithm and all that shit. Um, yeah, yeah. And then check out any of our stuff. Um, my tour dates are all on the link tree as well. Oh, that's and shit. Apart from that, I but I, I need to go and pick up my kids. <laughs> so um, that's fair enough. Yeah. See you next week. Bye bye. Bye.